Hi and welcome to this tutorial which will show you how to create a 3D house and rooms in Google SketchUp. You may well have done your house plan in 2D as a top down view and so you might be wondering how you're going to turn that into a 3D house. Well this is one way of doing it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to zoom out a bit and give myself some space and I'm going to rotate my screen so that I'm looking down and then zoom out a bit more because what I want to do is give myself um, a view as if I'm drawing the actual plan itself so what, I, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw that should do, I'm going to draw the outside walls of my house and the outside walls only so I'm going to use the line tool for that and I'm just going to start here and I'm going to draw a pretty simple house nothing too fancy I mean I'm not working obviously not working from a plan here you will have a plan that you will have done and you'll have done this hopefully far more carefully than I will and there we go there's my downstairs uh, floor so I've got an outside wall and what we actually need to create is an, a proper wall. We've got an outline, but not really a wall. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. Um, we're going to use the offset tool here. And with this, I can create kind of a mirror image of my outside wall. So if I use this tool, you can see I can. it will mirror. It will try and fit the shape of whatever... I've already drawn and so I'm going to do that just to give me a little air gap around the outside and this bit here is my outside wall now obviously I've not just got an open plan house with nothing in it I need some rooms um, I've not given myself a lot of space here but this is only a simple demonstration so again I'm going to use the line tool and I'm going to create a few rooms by adding the lines to connect different parts of the house together. So, for instance, I'm going to decide that my room is going to go here. And I want a wall that goes here, across here, and there. Now, this is important. If this is going to work, what you need to do is make sure that all of the walls, the interior walls, this is an interior wall and the exterior wall, connect together properly. So I need to get rid of, just zoom in, I need to get rid of this little bit here so that the walls connect together properly. So I'm going to click on the eraser tool and just get rid of that. So now that's one joined wall. And I'm going to continue, I'll do another one. So you can see again how it works. I'm going to have a wall that goes say along here. You can see it's not very, not a very even house. Um, and then along here, and stop it there. And then again, I'm going to use the eraser tool. And then let's connect another couple of rooms together. So what I do, I'm going to add a few more rooms, and we'll restart the video again when I've done that. Okay, you can see I've added a few more rooms. I've still got a fairly basic floor plan here, but you get the idea. And all of these rooms, as you can see, hopefully, are connected. There are lo no lines between the connecting walls at all. So what I need to do now is to actually turn this into a 3D building. Now, one of the reasons we've done, done it this way is so that when we raise the walls up all the rooms will be at the same level they will all be the same height so we can keep it nice and even which is quite important for a house obviously so i'm going to use the push and pull tool as we've used before and i'm not going to select the floor area i'm going to select the wall area and if i drag that up you can see straight away i've created a 3d environment really quickly just like that so if I rotate it now, let's move it over a bit so we can see. You can see if I tilt it this way, everything is nice and neat. It's exactly the same height all the way around. Um, so what I could then do if I wanted to is I could start to put 
objects or furniture or whatever I wanted in there. Now this is the rooms in this are quite small, but but for instance, if it was a um, a kitchen area, let, let's say that this room here is a kitchen. What I could do is I could add something to use as a shelving area. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool, and I could just start to add like a worktop there. And then with the push and pull tool, obviously again, uh, I've got kind of like a worktop area there. Quite easy. so, it's it's pretty straightforward to add the furniture and any fittings you want. So you could either import those from 3D Warehouse, or as I've done there, you could just use the the model tool to the the, the shape tools to create your own. Now, one thing I will do before I go any further is I'm going to put a door into the house so we do that exactly the same way I'm going to decide where I want my doorway to be it doesn't really look like it, it fits anywhere to be honest so I don't know let's just let's just stick it here it's not a very well designed house but if I just put a rectangle there and then and there we go so if I wanted to I could actually now Get, go into that house and I could I could walk around inside a proper 3d environment okay so let's zoom back out and see what we've got so there we are so that's the first floor done so what you would then be able to do is you'd keep adding uh, furniture you could add your textures so for instance if let's do a bit of decorating downstairs it's a good obviously you need to do this before you add a second floor if you're going to add a second floor you may decide that you don't want to or that that might be a bit tricky but if I go to the full tool I'm going to go to um, let's see what we've got colors so I'm just going to go for, for colors so painted walls just wait for my colors to load there we go um, and I'm going to scroll down what kind of colours do we want on our walls I'm not going for black let's just go for like a lime a nice tasteful lime green colour and then I can do all my interior decorating just by clicking on it I wish it was this easy in real life scroll And then obviously what it's easy to do is make sure that every room is the same colour, which all, all the walls in one room are a different colour. Not that they have to be, you could design them so that they were, every wall was different. I mean it's your house, so it can look however you want it to. So there we go, we've got a nicely decorated one room there. I won't do the rest of it, but you've got the idea of how that works. So what you might want to do so when we draw the outline first using the line tool then draw all the interior walls and delete the parts where the where the interior walls meet the exterior wall and of course don't forget to use before that sorry the offset tool to create your your exterior wall so it's outside of the house first of all then create an offset so you build a proper exterior wall and then use the line tool and your razor to create the interior walls okay and that's all there is to it